Fans ASMR Sports. Back at you with, uh, we got a mail day today because uh, I've got, I guess, three different packages in the last couple days with various things, so I thought I'd um, go over those. Uh, in lieu of uh, chewing gum today, I'm going to be eating some uh, peanut butter cups. These are Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Dairy-free for all y'all that care. Um, I go through these things pretty quickly. I I like them quite a bit, and uh, my daughter likes them. <sighs> I walked in on her today. Oh, she was supposed to be eating her breakfast, and she was chewing down one of these. I don't know. I, 
series out that's I'm actually about gosh I'm only like three episodes into that and I started watching the newest Star Wars series which is Andor and um, um, I'm about maybe halfway through that but then I started watching this um, series on um, Apple TV called Foundation and I am totally in love with that um, show it's like so I don't know it's everything I sort of want from the TV show it's like space based science fiction that has a heavy component of like you know space travel which I actually really like I don't really like space dramas I like stuff where they're on a ship and they're going places and they're doing exciting things um, you think I'd like Star Wars more but actually the other thing that I really like in a sci-fi show is, you know, like high quality production. So con consequently, like a lot of the Star Trek stuff from like the 90s and stuff has got a very campy feel to it at this point. Um, but, you know, and I understand that most TV studios are not gonna spend, you know, tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars on a production. But I think Apple probably invests more in their series than, um, you know, some of the smaller net channels, like whatever, um, I don't know. Uh, was AMC? Um, I'm trying to think what um, like Walking Dead is on, but um, <coughs> anyways, um, um, I love that joke. So, anyways, I'm kind of I'm behind on my Star Wars series watching, but I do hope to catch up because I'm about to finish Foundation, which makes me very sad. But um, then I'll probably maybe finish off Star Wars. Um, so, and, and so, uh, the, I, one thing I did not expect is that these are in, like, little tins, which I kind of find, I don't know, a little bit unnecessary. Like, if you were going to open a case of this stuff, what are you going to do with all these tins? Hope to God you know enough kids to give these to that could put their, whatever, pencils and erasers in it, I guess, but, yeah. Other than that, not much use for something like that. But they are kind of cool looking, they got Boba Fett right on the front there. Um, and this is like a regular hobby box. I mean, this is not like some, I don't think, kind of um, special version of this. Seven packs, eight cards per pack. And I bet there's probably one autograph per box, but boy, it doesn't say it. It's kind of funny they never say it on here. I don't know what the, what the deal is. So I don't know if I'd open one of those. I'm sure that uh, with these, I probably paid more than they're selling for, or I paid more than they're selling for on, um, on, um, Blowout. Because there's just, like, there's just no profit in that Star Wars stuff, like, ever, really. I've noticed. Or, like, the Star Trek stuff. I mean, you can get it for relatively decent prices, but it just does not sell for very much. There's not a lot of demand most non-sports products. Okay, let's get into some select and open these. So Target is notoriously terrible for, um, for packaging, and they just threw, like, these three packs and the um, blasters that I opened in, like, you know, uh, a two-square-foot box. I should say cubic foot, not that square um, two cubic foot box, and they were just like, there's no bubble wrap, no nothing, no paper, no nothing. Just these things just rattling around, so I'm sure that there's a good chance they're banged up, but we'll find out. So you'll see the kind of the blue background here, that's the, that's the color of the base retail cards. And then there's like silvers and stuff that are like regular um, select silvers. They're not the blue and the silver. All right. Well, right off the bat, we got Franz Wagner. Great young player. And this actually looks pretty good, and at least for the first card, I'm not seeing any kind of um, scratches or anything. Chrome scratches, so that's great. Nemius Quita. Simons. Lots of rookies so far. Zaire Williams. Robert Williams. 
comes the third. Lugans Dort. We'll turn up the brightest a little bit here. It's good for, to keep the background. You know, a, a low setting, a light setting is good for the background to keep nice and black, but when you look at cards, it feels a little bit dark. Seth Curry. Chris Duarte. Kai Jones. Ao Desunmu. So, again, silver coming up, and again, you can get, I think you can get courtside silvers, which if you get a top rookie is like a huge card. This appears just to be a base, just a concourse level. So, but, you know, it's cool to have a shot at a pretty sweet card in a retail products. There's a nice Zion. How's Zion doing? I think he's not doing so great. I know he's been injured because there was a game on like a week or so ago and he was out turbocharged. And now we have our blue. I think these are exclusive to, uh, um, yeah, blue shimmer is exclusive to this hanger pack um, configuration. There's Trey Murphy, rookie card, and Patrick Williams. I'll take the rookie out. So, I don't know, I really love these cards. They look they look beautiful to me. Um, you know, and you get those four cards at the end, inserts and prisms. Um, so, you know, you got a decent chance with a number of rookies in this set at getting something decent. I'd love to have like a Luka, one of those cards too, like a blue shimmer Luka, that'd be fantastic. It's probably not worth like more than five bucks, but to me, it would be very valuable. Quentin Grimes. Corey Kispert, Jordan Clarkson, Jay Sean Tate, Derek Rose, there he is, the guy you want, Kate Cunningham, the best of the bunch, very nice base rookie right there, I'll take that, Raja, that guy's been playing forever, huh, he was back in Boston like when I was there, I was not in, on Celtics, I was in the city of Boston, working, Delano Bonton. Here's a premier level design. You see, that's a little different than uh, this guy. <coughs> and uh, Isaiah Jackson rookie card. Um, okay, so this is a, this is a blue uh, prism, but I think it's kind of like the sort of base prism. I'm, I'm not sure what we would call this, but it's not a silver prism. It's a you know prism of this blue retail. Rookie Revolution, Zaire Williams, kind of cool. Oh, that's a nice one. Josh Giddy. Blue Shimmer Rookie, and Tobias Harris. Who was, Tobias Harris was also the, the blue prism, yikes. So that's, that's cool, that's definitely the best card I think we've gotten so far. I'm not sure how he's doing this year. I know last year he was gangbusters, but not sure. What uh, is going on this year? This does have some like some print errors kind of thing, little bands, but they're not scratches, so I don't know if that gets a pass. Really cool looking card though. Yeah, I really like these. Really like them. I feel like there's just kind of been some stuff on the back of that like last card in the pack. sleeve that up and maybe consider it for grading. I do have to, this Thanksgiving, like if I have some time, I'm gonna um, put together a, uh, a PSA order covering like the last three years of stuff that I've accumulated, so I gotta go through it. A lot of it is kind of useless. I probably have some like Acunas and Sotos in there that are no longer really worth much. Hoping both of those guys have gangbusters 2023s. Especially Soto, I feel like ever since he went to the um, Padres, he's kind of been eh. Okay, last of these packs. Okay, Jimmy Butler. 
Jackson, rookie. Darius Garland. Cal Kuzma. Jalen Sox, that's a nice rookie. I don't think he's done much yet, but one of the top draft picks. I swear to God, we've got 15 Gary Trents out of these three packs. Nicola, Luke Kennard, and our blue prism is Kawhi. Not bad, actually. Rookie luck. Oh, man, this friggin' guy. Hold on. I threw him away. In case you don't know about him, he got, like, uh, kicked out of the league for, like, domestic abuse or something. And I keep getting his friggin' cards. Alright. Bradley Beal. And James Harden. Maybe I'll sleep the Harden. So, uh, yeah, you know, uh, definitely lost money on this, but eh. if I tell you about losing money at retail price, even though retail price is like way up from last year, is is uh, you know pretty pretty acceptable, I think, for the entertainment value of the cards, opening the cards and seeing the designs, and especially when it's like the first I've ever opened, or the first. I've opened up select this year in any format, so that's cool. We did get some base rookies here of, uh, oh man, that has a pretty nasty, like, little bend in it there. It's one of those, like, under the surface crease things that I've noticed happens in Panini stuff. Like, the cardboard underneath got bent, and then it got, um, you know, like, the glossy coating put on. So, uh, all right, so I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm actually gonna um, open some some of the blaster stuff, maybe one or two of the blasters on my, the sports card show channel, which I mentioned I'm gonna try to get more content up on. So, um, you know, look to see me doing things uh, where I do, you know, half of the content on a particular product here and half content over there and if you don't like uh, one of the channels, then God bless you. Please do not even think about uh, trying to watch the channel you don't like and watch only this one. I'll probably still do dailies on this channel is some more sports since it's, you know, my biggest channel. I'm trying to keep the train rolling. So, pretty cool stuff. I mean, come on, that's just a lot of shiny, colory goodness right there. Man, no Lucas though, huh? What's up? Love to have some base Luke action. Okay, that's what we got, folks. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you all later. You have a great one. Bye now.